The Spartan Boy by Mary Lamb Read for LibriVox.org by Ian Hatley When I the memory repeat of the heroic captains great, which in contempt of pain and death were done by men who drew their breath, in ages past I find no deed that can in fortitude deceit the noble boy in Sparta bred, who in the temple ministered. By the sacrifice he stands, the line of incense in his hands, through the smoking censer's lid, dropped a burning coal which slid into his sleeve and passed in, between the folds even to the skin. That was the pain which then he proved, but not for this his sleeve he moved, or with the scorching ember sake, out from the folds lets it should make any confusion or at sight the servants at the sacred rite but close he kept the burning coal to it eat itself a hole in his flesh the slanders by saw no sign and heard no cry of his pains had no discerning that they smelled the flesh of burning all this he did in noble scorn for he was a spartan born Young student, who this story readest, and with the same thy thoughts now feedest, thy weaker nerves might thee forbid to do the thing the Spartan did. Thy feeble heart could not sustain such dire extremity of pain. But in this story, thy majesty, what may useful prove to thee? By his example thou wilt find that to the indigenous mind some can greater anguish bring than the body's suffering, that the pain is not the worst of ills, not when it the body kills, that in the f fair religion's cause for thy country or the laws, when the occasion do so offer, tis reproachful not to suffer, that thou shouldst a soldier be, and the wound so trouble thee, for without the soldier's fame thou to chance should owe a maim do not for a little pain on thy manhood bring a stain but to keep thy spirits whole think on the spartan and the call in the poem this recording is in the public domain